So we asked her to see if she could tell what the gender was and she- We are on our way to go get some glamour shots for our baby. <laughs> <laughs> Today is our 12 week appointment. So Adam's not supposed to come to this appointment because COVID, uh, we, it's different at the doctor's offices right now. He, as the spouse, is only allowed to come to the big ultrasounds. I, our first appointment, he was allowed to come. What happened was we went into the room, they asked me to wait in the waiting room of the doctor's office, but all of the spouses, men, supporters who were there with the pregnant woman had to wait out in the hallway. And then he was allowed to come in for certain things. So when they called me, I was like, my fiance is out in the hallway, can I go get him? And so, and they kept calling you my husband, which is funny, which I don't care, but. It's not funny. Well, I kept saying fiance, we have different last names, okay. well, but it doesn't matter. I mean, he'll be my husband soon anyway, regardless. Probably because we're old, huh? But I would be like, can I go get him? Because I was like frantic that he was gonna miss the heartbeat and like the fun stuff. So they were like, of course, they were so cool there. So he came in for the ultrasound and he came in for the part where I had to get pap smear and the initiation with, initiation, is that the word? But like the initial visit with the doctor, with the nurse practitioner, and actually there was a medical student who looked like she was about to pop pregnant, which is really cute. So they gave us all this information and I was trying to like wishful thinking the fact that he could come to every appointment with me because first of all, I don't want him to miss that stuff. But second of all, like I want the support there and that's okay. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna play dumb. We're gonna try and sneak in. <laughs> we're gonna try to sneak in. <laughs> Somebody knows how to break rules actually. So does somebody else. And we're not breaking and, rules. And it's funny because since I've been home, like I have been so adamant about, you know, like doing everything exactly like by, by the, the book. book. Well, we can't, I mean, it's not like you can just break into the room. But we're this, is, this is an exception. And it's not sneaking. We're going to try to sneak talk. We're trying to bend whatever the, the restrictions are and make sure and, that I get an opportunity to be there. Yeah. Because that's... It's huge. Yeah. And there are actually all these like pop up groups all over social media now that are like, come on, like, don't do this to pregnant women, especially yeah. in the beginning of COVID when they had to labor by themselves I, in, in a mask. Like, I don't know. But my doctor said Adam's allowed to be there for the labor and delivery part. So going back, she threw so much information at me where they gave me paperwork. I'm allowed to email them anytime I want from a patient portal. So that's totally fine. But I was missing stuff. Like I don't understand what the big ultrasounds are versus the other ultrasounds, ultrasounds, because to me, they're all big. It's our baby getting glamour shots. So we will keep you posted. We're going to use our age to our advantage this time. Cause we're like double the age of everybody in there that's working. So hopefully we could just sweet talk our way into Adam coming into the ultrasound and just play dumb and be like, oh, he's out in the hall. I thought he was allowed to come to this one. Uh, what do you mean he can't come to other ultrasounds? If not, we're allowed to FaceTime. Is there a way to record FaceTimes so that mm, everyone can see that? I don't know. There has to be a way. We just don't know. That's what you can research while I'm in there, like getting my UA and we, I have to do like a urine test every time. Okay. Um, while and, I sit out in the hallway by the elevators with all of the other fiancés, husbands, significant others who are literally camped out on the floor. Or just supporters. Some people don't have a significant other when True. they're pregnant and that's totally fine. Yep. And they have somebody really cool, like a very special aunt. I've, I've been that person before, which was so special. And those children are so special to me, my you know honorary nieces and nephews. So we will be back from the doctor's office if possible. If not, we'll be back right afterwards with an immediate follow-up and you can see the baby's glamour shot and all of that fun stuff. Anything else? Mm, nope. We love you guys and we are so excited and happy to be able to be sharing this whole entire journey with you because it's something we never thought would happen. So hopefully we're giving you guys hope or at least entertainment. <laughs> Mwah. We're back. Are you ready? I'm going to stop. I'm ready. So... Adam was able to come into the whole appointment with me because it was a different doctor today. So they wanted him to meet the doctor and everything like that. That's the good news. We loved the doctor. Honestly, I hope this doctor, I love them both, so I don't mind, but I hope this doctor delivers my baby because in this practice, there are two doctors, a male and a female, and they're not both on call all the time. So when you go into labor, it just depends on who's on call. I love- There's actually three. 
Oh, there are three. Oh, yeah, a midwife. They were just getting a midwife that we didn't meet yet. So mm -hmm. that's another appointment you could probably come in. I think her name was Mary. Why is that in my head? Is that did I make that up? I think you've just got Mary on the brain. Right well, because Mary wants to become a doula, so she could be in. Oh yeah. My yeah. best friend. How cool is that? So she can be in the room with us. So Adam and Mary could be in the room. That would be cool. It'd be awesome. Anyway, but this doctor, first of all, best sense of humor in the world which I love second of all the calmest demeanor like just so easygoing so calm and I am going to need that because I'm such a high strong anxious person especially in situations like I hate going into surgery or something and you have like everybody's looking at you when you're laying in the bed I, that makes me so anxious so bad so and I'm sure it does for most people but I don't like it I know it's going to be a situation where I'm in a ton of pain, et cetera. So I prefer somebody that's calm. The other doctor is awesome, but she's like, like me, like, brrr. so, um, not that it matters. I don't care. We did not get a glamor shot today of the baby because it was a handheld Doppler. Tell them. We are about to we. go online. Well, I am about <laughs> to go online and find out because she would not tell me where we could get this, but. Listen, she didn't she said she didn't know she didn't know regardless yeah it's a plug-in on her phone she was able to oh plug i didn't in. know that was her phone i didn't i thought phone? it was part yeah. of i couldn't i couldn't see a lot because like my, i'm laying a, down my scarf was up here my mask it was hard for me to see it was a plug-in and and it went over my belly i thought she it was going to be um an internal, internal. today because yep. the first one was internal but she went right on my belly oops all we need is listen we're gonna find that plug-in we're gonna get a bottle of whatever the gel is that you need on top and i told her i was like don't tell him where to get it because we will never leave the house like i will be under an ultrasound all day long so we asked her to see if she could tell what the gender was and she tried so hard but she couldn't because baby was stretched out so i was like well first of all yoga baby Second of all, hopefully that means baby has Adam's height genes. I'm 5'3". I'm shorty. But there are height genes on both sides of the family. So hopefully that means... I know that doesn't mean anything. You guys don't come for me. I'm kidding. Uh, I don't. I know if a baby's born long, it doesn't mean they're going to be tall. But wishful thinking. She, what she could see very prominently was the baby's nose. So I was like, oh, great. Hope that I hope that doesn't mean the baby has my nose. You have a beautiful nose. Now. <laughs> I still hate it. Before. I had a hook and a bump, you guys. So, I mean, who cares? The baby's going to be beautiful regardless. We're, I'm playing around right now. But she could see the baby's nose, which is... I don't think that means the baby's going to have a big nose. But the facial features are there. Yeah. Couldn't tell the gender. But because of my age, we did go ahead and get the blood test. I thought I was going to have to schedule that. But in fact, they did it right then and there in their little blood lab right there. So we will be able to find out the gender as soon as the results are in. A little bad news, I didn't tell you yet. What? The results, she said, come in in two weeks. I hope that means that they're over-promising, no, under-promising, over-delivering, and they come in sooner. She said if I have the Quest app on my phone, which I will put right now, that's just the lab, the Quest lab is it's one of the most popular labs if not the most popular lab that it, they'll come a little bit sooner because i won't have to wait for like the computer system to speak to their mm -hmm. computer system yep. but so within a week and a half to two weeks hopefully we'll know the gender i still <laughs> figured it was going to take a minute yeah. i didn't i thought like i thought by the end of the week i thought it was going to be re relatively quick and I, I almost had a breakdown for one second in my head i was like oh, don't you know you need to rush me where you two pay i'm just kidding I'm just kidding. And also any kind of like genetic issues or anything like that. And the only thing that we would do if there were genetic issues would be like to meet with, what did you call it? A fetal specialist? Just yeah. to, you know, give us, I guess, tips and stuff. I don't really know. We're, I don't, I think everything's fine. We saw the, we literally saw the spine on the oh, ultrasound the today. And the heart was like wow. so boom, boom, boom. It was so cool. Oh, I told you guys on my last video that I've been really, really short of breath, like scary short of breath. So I was telling the girl, oops, I was telling the girl who took my weight and my blood pressure. Thank God my weight was yeah, fine. Yeah. I think I gained like a pound and a half, but I had to pee. So, and, and I'm blaming my shoes, but I really thought I gained like another 10 pounds. So that makes me feel better. I think adding in running has helped a little bit and it has not been like long runs. It hasn't been hard runs. It's been slow jogs, but it's definitely, I think helped. But she took my blood pressure, and my blood pressure was on the lower side. It was awesome. Yeah. yeah it's My blood pressure is always 
decent. So I was like, well, at least I know it's not my blood pressure. So I guess it's just normal. But then as I was talking through it with the nurse practitioner, it's my asthma. She said that pregnancies can kind of uh, re-trigger, even if you've grown out of it, can re-trigger asthmatic issues. So they prescribed me a rescue inhaler, which I probably will never use. I hope I don't need it, but at least I'll have it. If something like, what was that, Sunday? The night I got really scared. Yeah. Like if I need it, then I can it's take good, a puff or two. Good to have. Yeah, they're great to have. I actually should always have one. I had one in Jersey that stretched over like I could keep them for so many years until they expire because I never really need them but it, they are good to have so I think that's that after our doctor's appointments we always go out to eat to celebrate maybe we'll vlog a little bit there we were gonna go to a vegan place but since I just got blood drawn I'm kind of like a little woozy I, I need to eat soon and it's close to half an hour away so we're gonna go to <laughs> I'm just going to start driving. We're going to go to just a fun breakfast place around here. They have like lots of fun little pop-up breakfast spots here in Vegas, which is cool. We don't have, or when I was in Jersey, we didn't have many of those because we had like the traditional diners. Both are delicious. Baby's craving some eggs. That's what we're going to do. So maybe we'll vlog a little bit from there. We love you guys. So, so, so excited. Gender reveal ASAP. <laughs> Back in a little. When it hurts like this. I am the greatest